but it was the perfect amount of time. Uh, we finished up in June and uh, had a chance to get home. And uh, you know what, come the end of August and early September, you start getting the itch, you want to get back on the ice. Uh, it starts becoming and feeling more like hockey season. So uh, it was just the right amount of time. And uh, truth be told, I'd love to do it again. And uh, let's go through the same process. Well, speaking of doing it again, now you're working, obviously you've worked closer with the Kings before, but now your AHL affiliate just right up the road instead of having to go all the way across the country. How nice is it to just have the Kings right here in your backyard? Oh, it's terrific. I think it's going to be a great situation. Uh, you know, I'm, I moved into Ontario, settled in there. I love what I've seen so far. I think it's going to be a great, uh, a great spot for our guys. And I think it's going to work out well for guys that are, uh, you know, up and down. And hopefully for them, up rather than coming back down. Um, that's the beauty of it. I think it's great as far as our, our development crew will be able to get in and see our guys on a regular basis. Management will get in and see our guys on a regular basis. So, you know what, just being in the same time zone helps immensely. So, I think it's going to be great. I think it's a win-win for everybody. I think it has to help you, as you mentioned, win-win. It has to help you as well, just that open communication. Knowing that you can get somebody just right down the road, you don't have to make quick adjustments. Next morning flights, you know, as you mentioned, the time zone. So I'm sure for you, from a hockey ops standpoint, general manager standpoint, it makes things tremendously easier. Well, it does. And uh, you know what? We, we, we had a great situation in Manchester. Um, you know, we were able to fly out of Manchester at times. We were short drive into Boston to get guys out of town. But you know what? It does become a bit of an issue, and as we talked about earlier with the time zones and the changes, getting a guy in, getting him back. Um, I think that'll make it easier. Um, you know, when you look at the logistics of it, what is it, 50, 60 miles away, we're still dealing with some traffic, so it's not quite as easy as you would think it's going to be. But again, it's, it's just a familiarity with everybody in the organization. Everybody's on the same page. We can stay in close communication and stay in close touch, and I think that's vital. You've had a chance to look a little bit at the Business Bank Arena, the new locker room. Just what have been your first impressions? You mentioned you just kind of got settled in and obviously right back to work. But your first impressions of the Ontario area, Inland Empire, and a place you're going to be calling home? Actually, I'm, I'm in the short time, uh, I was here actually in the summer um, and, and got familiar with Ontario. Uh, moved in uh, and then went back home for a bit. Now I've, I've been back and in my brief time, I, I love it. I mean, it's it's easy to get around, it's clean, and there's a lot to do and I think it's important for guys when they're not at the rink. The weather's obviously terrific, makes you feel good about yourself. You want to get up, you want to get to the rink, you want to get out afterwards and enjoy some of the, the finer things that are available to us. The rink itself, outstanding facility and I think uh, the renovations we have is, uh, that are ongoing with our, our locker room facility is going to make us one of the best uh, best facilities, if not the best facility in all the American Hockey League.